What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and I have an unboxing for you guys today. Before I go into that, I just want to say I did trade this gun, I actually traded my 417, but I'm getting back into the HPA game, so I traded for a Valgan V12, because Sure Shot Midget is super good at working on V12s. So that'll be here in like two or three days. But without further ado, I traded one of my, um, actually a WB High Kappa, for a really cool KWA MP7 from my guy. Um, my brother's actually done tech work for him before, and he's actually been a subscriber to my channel for a while, which is pretty cool. So I am going to open this on my, oh, <laughs> Twix operator. Hey. I'm not gonna eat that yet. No one to eat on camera. And then we got a on tap it AR issue. Actually, kind of cool. And then he wrote me something slash Oh, that's sick. Hey, Alec, kind of wanted to do a personal message to you. I've been subbed to your channel since I saw one of the Christmas unboxings a couple of years ago. That's sweet. I think you're really cool how sometimes in your videos you mention how you're a Christian and let people ask questions about that. I'm also a Christian. Sweet, guys, yeah. You were actually one of my inspirations to start YouTube. My channel is Fleet Geek, so shout out to him. The Airsoft one, I think there might be some Minecraft channel called that. I've really enjoyed making videos so far. Anyways, I love your channel. Um, hopefully you like the MP7. I know I like the High Kappa, and I admire the passion you have for God. By the way, since you some cool extra stuff. Sweet, dude. Thanks so much. Wow. I don't get messages like that very often, but that's cool. So, extra stuff. Um, Black Ops Airgun Collection. <laughs> are, those, are those napkins? <laughs> Mustaches. Permanent tattoos. Yo, this is for my cameraman. It says I love mom. That's definitely you. Hi. Um, a sock? A, <laughs> I don't know exactly what all this is. All right, so here, here's a mag, k to Bambi 7 Yeah, one of the things he said is like, if you guys wanna have conversations, literally feel free to ask questions at any time. I try and always respond to my DMs um, in Instagram or, or Facebook. So I respond to you guys. Sometimes it takes me like a week um, to respond to stuff, but I do try to respond to everything. I've actually not had a kid to MP7 for quite a while. I've had one or two here, here and there. Um, oh, this is the holster, I think. So he said he had a holster, and I was like, a holster for an MP7? But it's actually a TMC, like, hard shell style holster. So I don't know exactly how this works, but it looks like it cl clicks into a normal belt setup. Looks like it's a normal belt setup, but it looks, actually looks sweet. So I'm actually going to try that in the MP7 later. <laughs> Pencils and Nerf darts. Oh, those are some of these, uh... These are actually used for real steel. These uh, like little glow sticks. I know some people run these in their belt setup and you snap them and then you'll throw them places. So like that'll light a little area. Those are actually really cool. They're like little small glow sticks. So I don't know how quick that's gonna light up, but that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, another mag, I think he sent me three mags. I believe that they are, one of them he said leaks, which one of my W mags leaks, so that's cool. Um, this one sells a sticker on it. Both of the mags look pretty good so far though. And then here is the site, I'm guessing. Uh, I have, that is not a site. That is a part of a site. I don't even know if that's MP7 site though. And then I think this is the gun. Oh, one more mag. Two more mags? Oh, he, it comes with four? I guess he sent me four mags. Maybe he said three work. I think he said maybe he said three work and then um, the other two or one of, one of them leaks, I think. So here's the single one. They all look like they're in pretty decent shape, to be honest. I mean, like, a little bit of wear, like, that's normal that you'll see mags that have wear, especially when you're, like, practicing reloads and stuff, so that's one of the things that I'll do with, like, metal mags. I'll just practice reloads, but I really, really like the MP7 mags because they're incredibly heavy, um, and they just feel, like, it feels like you're playing with a legit, le legit mag instead of just some random stuff. But here is the gun. Oh, that, the HK MP7A1... Swivel sling. There's the front end. It looks like the tab on the top might have broke off. Bet it stays though. So there's MP7. Looks like it's in pretty decent shape. To be honest, a lot of people that I trade with sometimes like the stuff will be in okay shape, but this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. Man, I haven't had MP7 for a while. Aren't these things so cool. They're literally just like they're so tiny. I love the MP7 flip up sights. This is the MP7A1. HK Sling Swivel, I have never seen this before. I don't know if it's like a QD point. I don't think that has anything to do with that, but it looks almost like you could put like a red dot on there. So I don't know if you could mount some sort of red dot on that. That's really cool. But it also looks like 
Um, on the back, you have like a little QD point that you would attach in, which is normal. So I'm guessing on the sides, maybe even the top, you do that. But it looks like that's all it's for. Kind of looks like there could be a screw on the top for like a um, little micro redout or something. But that's a cool kind of idea. I think this is, yeah, so this is, I forget how short the stocks are. I think that's all that they come out to. But yeah, that's, I think that's it. That's, man, these guns, I forget how compact these things are. I guess it's, this is, I mean, it is a sub, so it's small like that. Kind of like what you did with this polished flash hider. It looks like you polished that, and then these are just kind of some cool grips. Um, but I'm excited. I don't know if I'll get a chance to really field this gun. Hopefully the mags work well, but I haven't used like a small gun. That's one of the things. If I played it like an indoor field or anything CQB wise, I would love to really run something like this. But unfortunately, it's just hard, and I don't. Um, but I do have one more update for you guys. Some of you may have been paying attention to this thing in the side of the video. This is my new subby build. I actually played with this two weekends ago, right before I came back to college. And so if you stay to the end of the video, you get to see this beautiful thing. But I'm going to do a review on this very soon, and then I'll throw some gameplay footage in it. But I think I'm going to upload the gameplay footage first. I had a really cool CQB game at the end, and so you guys have been asking, Alec, get footage out there, get gameplay. I know that's what you guys want to see, so I'm hopefully going to be uploading that soon. And I finally got the chance to go back and play during spring break. This has been Alec Magdalene Run, and I'll see you guys later.